Our Wendy's Male Athlete of the Week this week, senior quarterback for the Seaman Vikings, who are off to a great 3-1 and one start this season. He is Reed Cowan, who's also made a name for himself on the defensive side of the ball this year. And, Reed, before we get to there, let's start with the, the flashy position, the quarterback first. Five total touchdowns and a win over Topeka West this past Friday night. What was clicking for you so well, especially against a team who was playing its first game? You didn't have any film on them. What was going so well for you in that game against the Chargers? Um, I mean, it really like the guys up front, you know, making creating holes and then giving me time in the backfield. My receivers catching the ball very well. I mean, I mean, everything was just going good. Make it like not blocking the right guy, making the right read and everything and establishing a run game so we can establish a passing game. I mean, everyone just out there making me look good. So. This was not the first game this season where you put up some really big stats. Again, five total touchdowns, but you've had some big numbers in a lot of games so far. And as I said, your team, Seaman, off to a 3-1 and one start to the year. Why do you think it is that Seaman in particular has gotten off to such a good start this season? Um, I think that this year is just a different feeling. Like, this year everyone's playing as a team. I mean, we're like we're really a family, and, and I truly believe that. And I think when you play like that, you can beat some teams that you shouldn't. And I think we realized that, and we're playing for each other. So that's why we're doing so well this year. Speaking of just having a good feeling, last season you, you started off the year sick, weren't able to play in week one, and have dealt with some nagging injuries over your time at Seaman. Well, this year you're fully healthy. The starting quarterback job is all yours. How does it feel to have that going into your final high school football season to know this job is mine, no one's looking over my shoulder, I've got it in full? How does that kind of affect your mindset going into a year? Um, it felt really good. Like last year, I played with some confidence issues, and this year, I just worked with work with all the guys, you know, in the off season, and worked really hard just so that I could come in with a different mentality, knowing I could make the plays and not not having to second guess myself and you know make the wrong read or anything. Just watching a lot of film, just like every other guy on the team, just working hard. So. We're joined by Reed Cowan, our Wendy's Male Athlete of the Week, and speaking of. In playing with the with that different mindset, you're playing defensive end for the first time for Seaman. You had some experience at linebacker before, and we saw you guys. We were broadcasting your game week one, and we thought, wow, he fits in pretty naturally at defensive end. What is it like, A, playing in that position for the first time as a senior, and B, frankly, how has it felt to, to be in that position for the first time? Does it feel like a natural fit for you? Um, I've always like liked playing defense. I mean, everyone always thinks, you know, pre boy quarterback can't play on the defensive side, but I wanted to, you know, show that, you know, we can do that. And I'd like to be I mean, I just want to play ball in college. So if if they want to put me on defense or offense, I want to make sure that that they know that I can play there and, you know, doing anything to help my team, you know, get the W mainly. And so if I if I can if me playing that position can help us on that side, so then and I was going to do that. Going into this season, and you had the knowledge that, again, you were going to be starting at quarterback. It was all your job. You've got a lot of seniors, a lot of veteran players on your team this year. What were some of your goals heading into the year, both personally and team-wise? Uh, team-wise, I wanted to win league, wanted to go undefeated, you know. I mean, uh, for, I mean, that was the first goal was to go over 500. I mean, just make sure we weren't, you know, as bad as last year and make sure we all got better as a team and um and then once we started realizing like wow like we're playing together real well we can we can go undefeated we can win league and then i mean i still believe we can make a real good run in state and i i truly believe that we can do well and i'm really excited for that and personally as the goal i just wanted to make sure that i played unselfish and i wanted to make sure that i was playing for my team i wasn't getting upset when i had a bad game because if my team had a good game you know be excited like I just wanted to make sure that I was playing unselfish and I still wanted to have, I want to have 2000 passing yards and 800 rushing yards. Um, but really I'm just going to get the W. We're talking to Reed Cowan from Seaman football, our Wendy's male athlete of the week going again into this season. So going back over the summer, obviously this is an off season like you've never had before, like no football players ever had before dealing with COVID-19 what was it like for you trying to prepare for a football season when practices were getting called off and you had to distance away from your teammates? What is it like preparing for football in the middle of a pandemic? Um, it was a lot different. Uh, got kicked off a lot of football fields and uh, going all over the place and having to throw on the grass. But my brother uh, switched to tight end this year 
in college and he came home. So I was getting a hundred throws in a day, at least uh, in my backyard only. So, and then I'd have, you know, all the guys that were back from college needed someone to throw to them. So I'd have a couple of those guys on my receivers and we go, I mean, we find a couple fields that, you know, we could stay on without getting kicked off. We'd go up there all the time and we just, you know, everyone would want to get their working because everyone's missing the sport. I mean, so we we throw up there almost every day and working out in the summer. We normally are everyone in the weight room every single day, five days a week. And um, this year we had to go half in the weight room and half outside conditioning. And it was different, but I think I think it definitely was good for us because when we were outside, we couldn't we couldn't have a football, but we could still like put in defenses and offensive like formations and go over blocking schemes and everything. So I think that really made us take a few steps ahead. I think that's why we we played very well in the in week one with little mistakes because we we're already that far ahead going into practice. You mentioned a little bit ago wanting to play college football when you move on to the next level. I've seen you've gotten some offers from a couple different schools. Are there any in particular you're focusing on? And I know you mentioned you're happy to play any position. Is there any that in particular, you know, if I can play quarterback, I'd like to stay there? Um, most of my offers right now are just as an athlete. Um, uh, there isn't, I mean, I'm trying to keep my options open just, but I'd like to go, I like to go at a high level. And so wherever, wherever I feel the best at after I go on my visits, wherever I feel, you know, I fit in the best is probably where I'll go. Well, Reed Cowan is playing phenomenally to start off this season for Seaman football. The Vikings are three and one, five touchdowns this past week against Topeka West and plenty of gaudy numbers throughout the year so far. Reed is our Wendy's male athlete of the week. Reed, thank you so much for your time today and good luck the rest of the way for the high school football season. Thank you so much.